Good afternoon, morning, gentlemen. Um, I think I'm going to do a series called Reading Your Dick. Um, and it looks like the good old ass pass guys did a chain versus Rana deck. And because these guys are the biggest, in my opinion, as far as the big brain goes, I wanted to rate uh, with a, a, a Brendan, Brendan Patrick's Rana deck. He did say that he wants to play the hero and he has been testing it. I'll just move this a little bit. Um, he has been testing the hero, so, um, yeah, it fucking, they did a match, and I'm gonna react to it. Good old Yazi being a react content creator now. So, um, we'll start off by looking at his actual list. He's got Claws, Romping Club, Alphas, Barragings, he does have the Fates, he does have the Massacres, he does have Pulping, but it's usually the, the tech cards that usually get me. Two, three, three, three. Yep, this is all right so far. He does have the springboards, does he? Only two, that's okay. At least it's at two. Um, he put at two, that's very dumb. Reckless. And he, look, there's not a lot of blues here, which is very telling of how his deck's going to go. Um, Sand Sketch, Savage Feast, Blue. I think... Uh, uh, how, how, many, how many blues? 16. I think it's okay, but like... Most games, you're not putting in both uh, E-Pots, so I probably wouldn't. Um, and his equipment. Skullcap, Tunic, Gamblers, Null Rune. Null Rune Chest. Uh, scabs and Skullhorn. That's fair. Um, my opinion, you always need to be running the arms. Like, Gambler's Gloves is fucking horrible. And if this is his only slot for uh, for arms... Yeah. Just don't run Gambler's Gloves. Just play a better deck. So a few cards he doesn't have here. Um, Swing Fist Think Late is an amazing card. And uh, uh, Breakneck Battery, another amazing card too. So you can tell that his deck's mainly going to revolve around Gambler's Gloves, uh, which is a recipe for disaster. And then on top of that, it looks like he's only relying on Blood Rush Bellows uh, for like end game and like mid game getting him down. Um, he does have Massacres and all that. He does have the Alpha Rampage, but he's, I think he's going to play a very, like, defensive, but, like, wait for Blood Rush Bellows turns, which, in my opinion, is just the wrong way to go. Um, I did watch, like, the first 10 minutes of it. Not, not 10 minutes, like, 5 minutes to see what they were playing. Um, and you see he's got the Arcanite Skullcap, he's got the Tunic, he's got the Scabs, but he has Gambler's Gloves, which... <laughs> it's just... Look, uh, Goliath Gauntlet, so much better. It, it negs your opponent by two health. You can put it on a CNC. It actually pushes more damage. Uh, like, it, that, that's that's the main thing about Rhino. Um, and versing Chain as well. Like, you shouldn't be going into Chain uh, with aggressive matchups with your Mandible Claws because you just can't out-damage a Chain, even right now as well. Because um, they just play an Art of War turn 3, turn 4, and they just take the tempo off you. And if you're just waiting for your Blood Rush Bellows, um, you, you, you're just in the shitter. Like, uh, Chain went to more, uh, rather than being as arcane uh, arcane damage focused, it went into more um, like attack heavy. So if he's not playing defense reactions, I think it's a bit silly, but you can get away with it because usually you might not see him all. Um, and he should be running a 60 card deck as well. I, I don't think they told us what. Um, and a few cards he was noticing, like uh, uh, mentioning, was the um, Commander Conquer, the Savage Feast Red, which is fucking garbage. Um, like, I guess it can be good, but at the same time, like, you want to be. Like, what's his game plan there to swing uh, with, with Savage Feast? Roll Scab Skins if he gets, like a, like, a 5. He has 2 actions, so then he could, like, swing Claw Claw. Personally, I just prefer go with, uh, you know, Swing Club. But, yeah, he's also very reliant on scabs. So, Lil, we'll go straight into the um, match. Which, you know, we no longer have Seeds of Agony, of I course, with the banning. Dying. But we do have some, some cards that come into the deck and something like Tone of Torment. Actually works pretty well. With and I'll put creepers. it on a um, bit quicker card speed. And, uh, you know, effectively, uh, one resource, um, play from Banish. So, yeah, you know, very nice in that regard. Some of the other key cards I've got as well. You know, plus, we have to play around Carrion um, You know, what we're seeing a lot like, more what are you with gonna do? Chambers like, now is... 
more. You have no uh, real good on hit effects except for Commander Conquer, so which is there, just going to block it anyway, You so. want to keep your body high, um, so some attack actions actually replace that. So um, <laughs> what ends up happening is that you know you draw some more of these attack actions. I've actually can be a bit more consistent. I think um, best so case there's scenario, some, some actually to the seeds going he has away. to go um, first. I guess a couple of like well ten damage, is, uh, dimensional ten gateway. damage minimum. Um, you know, doesn't doesn't quite fill that void, but does a very good job of allowing you to opt to manipulate the top of your deck, find those attack actions off the top, and banish them, and set the turn. Of course, get in that important arcane damage, especially really important if we're spell and creeper ring. Um, and then we have Riftbind. You know, it's still important in the deck. This only plays three red in this list. It's it's a lot less important than it was, obviously, because we can't just so you know, we can pull see, back a couple seasons and throw them out beast on a big turn. In there. Uh, we do have Howls, but other than that, he does you know, have, have as many the pack and all to that. Play from banish. So the ceiling on Riftbind comes down. He chose to put in the matchup, the same as the... Otherwise, yeah, they're kind of cool out of the We are playing the Rosetta Thorn. Weapon is very good. One resource for a four attack, and the second is built around. In my opinion, all these are really bad cards. You can Rosetta Thorn pretty consistently, and with your banish ability, you know, to play from banish, you can do that. You can do that pretty well, which is nice. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, Dimensional Gateway is actually a card that we were on extremely early. I Let's think, like, yeah, you know, like week zero back. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we can do. I definitely play a lot more brute than you have brute. <laughs> okay, well, just rub it in my face. You play a lot more everything than me, I guess. I was gonna say you play a lot more rune blade than I have, though. A lot more chain. Maybe. Least. I've dabbled, I guess. Oh, I love. A terrible okay. opening here. Yeah. I might have skipped it, but they probably rolled. Let's get a filter this bad boy so here. He's got... Smash instead. I feel like it's going to be probably he's like, a race. Um, I'm really worried about. Best line of play don't is defend in the six, so I'm worried about intimidates and, and just kind of getting wreck a romp. You know, killed into the mid game and being in a position where it's in the yellow. Uh, intimidates it us. We can't actually block efficiently with cast from hand. That's kind of uh, my concern in this matchup. Potentially hit the um. Yeah, the, the, the massacre. Definitely. Sorry, I'm just thinking about contemplating my life after drawing these cards on turn one. But luckily, we can filter, unfortunately. Well, we can roll scab skin, filter. swing with the claw. But, as well, you know, as a result, letting, which is uh, not ideal. Uh, We're going to play the Smash Instinct. And pitch the Wreck a Romp and Massacre. Sure. Coming up for six. Uh, uh, you could just shuffle and go off the top every time. Sure. Let's go off the top. Um, <clears throat> okay, so a garbage six. play. Yep, uh, out of all six. those attacks there, I probably wouldn't have went with either of those. You know that following one's instinct may be ill-advised. We will defend for six. Yeah, sounds good. Our stuff nice. <laughs> this guy just reads flavor text for fun now. <laughs> what do you mean flavor text? Oh, was that not flavor text on that card? No, 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 no. It's disappointing. Um, hmm. So he does have Reckless Swing in there, which could be a win condition for late I think game. I what we will do is probably... If he's pitching it early, it doesn't really... Pitch the Sing of Sorcery. Probably won't see it because they... Ah, card here. I'm not going to play it this time. Gonna pitch it. Early. And we are going to play... Where's his Arcane okay Barrier? Like... like... Gateway. <laughs> oh, three. Let's see what we can find. Really, uh, an attack action to bench. Um, I definitely wouldn't be going into chain even definitely. still without any arcane barrier because the, the amount of dice. damage they can still push. The dice, uh, yeah. uh, get the magnum sized dice over there. <laughs> um, he just dies late game, right? He's not going to be able to like boom, get a really amazing a nice use him off him. Attack action to banish. I <laughs> uh, love your adjectives. Uh, unfortunately, if we. Yeah. Hmm. Just consideration of whether we actually even banish this now. Interesting. I think we probably do because we're going to try and take cards from Brendan here, and then it's going to be hard for him to come back and you know, intimidate our whole hand. So we should be able to defend on our turn. Let's speed it up a little um, bit. I'd like to keep my cards. <laughs> I prefer you didn't. So I think I what we'll do is we will, yeah, we'll reveal this mutated mass off the top. Uh, so it doesn't deal any arcane damage because it's not Rune Blade, but it is a shadow card, so we are going to banish it. Yep. Hmm. And then going to create a soul shackle. Sure. And we'll come with can I conquer with these many two resources for six. Hmm. Classic. I'll block for three. Take three. Yep. Take this do okay. a dookie pack hunt out. <laughs> uh, we'll just Arsenal take one down to thirty nine from the budget and pass it back. Sure. All right, Alpha Rampage. Just starting say, to say, Alpha Rampage. Hey, <laughs> massacre. So this is going to be the old. Uh, Triple Ultimate. Versus triple I'm gonna, while they're looking at the hand here, there's no point. You don't know how many cards we want to play in some speed. All right, uh, I'll take the top end. I think Hades takes yep. nine, sure. to be honest. Okay, interesting. Oh. Fortunately, we couldn't make that play with... We well, needed three cards in hand, so... Wait, where arsenal. is it? Like it wasn't oh, wait, good, Arsenal. Hmm. It's not good. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> definitely should have blocked it, right? In the business of taking nine. So but it like, like, doesn't have a club, so the that's the big downside. Um, so very good red cards. because of the mandible claws, but you're forced to play aggressively, and because of that, you have to give up turns like, where, uh, um, like, if the CNC hits you. So, instead, you I can think just the value of the four. thing is so low. Uh, we're just going to take the nine here, go to 30. Yeah, it takes a nine. 
Sure. Your turn. The power of Intimidate, right? You know, making us have to make tough decisions and not be able to. Obviously, if we look at four card hand, we gave an optimal line that we want to pick between defending and attacking on the turn cycle. Intimidate just throws that out the window, right? Just the power of Intimidate. Uh, Soul Tracker 1 is <laughs> our turn, so we're going to read on Hell Rats. Finish. Very good. It's so either the power of Intimidate or the power of Chain, never needing to block in that <laughs> mid-range matchup. It's weird. I think this, this deck does, you know, does want to try and craft some more defending stages because um, you have lifts of those plays where you can like seeds from banish and play attack action possibly. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think you do want to craft. You would want to defend a bit more early, but maybe it's polarizing. Defend early, and then you don't want to defend into the mid game. Whereas Chain wanted to defend, you know, someone in the, mid, uh, the early game and also defend into the late game a bit if it needed to. Yeah. With seeds. Because um, like Patrick just baby, dies to arcane. Do this. At the end of the game, Rana just yeah, doesn't so have go damage. Ahead, and we're gonna hit a shadow puppetry to play an art of war. Uh, choosing go again and um, draw. I'm actually gonna banish this uh, soul reaping. So, yeah. okay. But the yikes, not great. You just oh, you just go again, yeah. You chose go again. You did. Yep. And then we're gonna play this plunder run. Blue. Oh, Hayden. Blue those. You have. You never change, do you? I have. I used to play red ones. Now I play blue ones from last. Yeah, I play blue. Um. Get to here. Yeah. So with the go again, we'll come up with this on hard rights for five off the blue plunder run. Two cards in hand? Two cards in hand, two resources left. Well. We'll block for three. Yep. So, take two. Looks weird, but we're not going to be able to block out his next tech action. Sure. So, I'll go again. I'd so block with Scabs here no because what. he's going to be able to get the draw from the plunder run. Okay, let's not commit the armor. Yeah, I'm sure. And not, I mean, not commit the armor. Early enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to create a soul shackle and we're going to. No, we're not. Huh? <laughs> Actually, I want to play the mutated mess first, I think. Life. I'm just thinking about turning Brandon's skull cap on. Yeah. Um, no, I think it's fine. We'll, we'll check and we'll come sure. with the Rosetta Thorn. Let's go again. Resource left. Okay, I'll pick four. Close the chain. Yep, so 31. 31 plays 30. Yeah, this, the, Rosetta's, like, the strength of Rosetta, I think, in these Rainbow Dicks is, <clears throat> is pretty high. <laughs> Excuse me, one resource of four. I'm inclined to agree. We're going to play a Shadow Puppetry. Breaking the chain. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> And then we'll come in with the mutated mass for five with a zero cost and one cost here. Let's go again. Oh, well, we are losing this turn cycle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, what's your, like, what's your kind of overall strategy in this matchup, do you think? Like, is, it, is it similar to what I think in terms of racing to a mid-game, or is it a bit more structured? It depends who I'm sitting across from. <laughs> okay. In classic chain fashion, right? Like, if I'm sitting across from someone that I don't know, I probably just fatigue you. You don't have seeds, you're probably not going to be able to build an Ursa. Like, if you don't have a very cohesive game plan on how to beat fatigue and if i'm playing reinar but the deck you're not doesn't playing fatigue, fatigue i probably fatigue you after like turn two turn three depending on how much damage you put out but if it's hayden dale sitting across from me then it's unlikely that i'm gonna try to fatigue like, um you have claws <laughs> you just don't have this <laughs> yes. right. yeah no you're going in the aggro matchup with like <laughs> as you can see how much damage you just did sure sure not that's i know how it writes yeah sure um, it's like your max damage is like. Brute is. I feel like we have to set up. 18 damage a turn? Like for a big turn? Mongo our hand. But like, yep, like changes does this every uh, single turn. I'll take one, one blood tip. 29. Yep. So our turn is still very weak, and you're like, oh, Brendan, why did you block like that? Do this turn? For my arsenal. <laughs> for my arsenal. If he commander conquers us, it's okay. You know, we just scoop him up. We go nice. Oh, no, it's not! Beat down. Um, you just shuffle. Take one off, and then we'll claw here for, for six. Okay. Or three. Trying to set up our arsenal. I didn't check yeah, his so hand, but that could be the Blood Rush Bellows. Um, yeah. And he, he does have the Tunic for it now, too. So he can tu he can block two, then he can uh, use the Tunic. There definitely was four. zero other plays with that land, too. The only other thing is block for three and then have the Arsenal, which is probably worse. I think if we're going to enter into this stage of the game, I need to get my hand to do this. I'm okay with it. So I'll, I'll take six. <clears throat> Go to me three. Cool. A man of many blocks. All right, your turn. So I do have a, I do have a hand a line that could block, but unfortunately, like... Double blocking. I think Aiden's playing a little bit dumb too. To, like, I need a non attack like, I have one in Arsenal, but then I wouldn't have the resources to potentially You should it. at least yeah. be blocking with one. Okay. Uh, bench two. Right. We've got Time of Torment and Shadow Versa. Alright. Yep. Okay, pretty good. Not bad. Not bad, eh? Uh, we're going to start by playing. Yeah, we're going to start by playing this cool game in time from hand with the rock card. Mm hmm. So. Interesting. So Gorgon don't find its spot, its spot back in the deck. Yeah, yeah. A non-attack action. Just the, the, you know, you have more room for other non-attack actions now. Um, yeah. I'm gonna the, only last, the only last nine is the best one. Yeah, seems like a bit of a hole. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Rune Chart. Which just and... has to take now too. Yeah, Shackle. We'll come up with this on Hellid Rats. Uh, sorry, we'll plunder run blue from Arsenal first, and then we'll on Hellid Rats. Brother, you gotta stop this. Going for five and one arcane. 
All right, this okay. one I'm gonna block. I'm gonna block for five. Oh, you said one arcane. I'll take the arcane. Yeah. Then I'll. I'll yeah, toss this skull skull one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. All right. So we go again. Oh, jeez, Louise. We will shadow versa. Finishing us with reality. Just take two. Oh, uh, no point two. Block. oh my goodness, dude. These <laughs> turns are crazy. These turns are really too much. Um, Just trying to show the chain's not dead. Yeah. I mean, if, if you draw like this in the first three turns, it pretty much functions the same, I guess. Take two. You can draw. Yep. Yeah, so 25, 23. We'll knock two threes. I'm sad I haven't got to play one of these things of sorceries yet. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't it look must be a real like bummer. He has to defend for action. He set. definitely know, so. should have. I want to play both. I'm so the, <laughs> the reason why you run like so fake scenes and sink belows if you are running claws is that you can. Like, I'm filter your hand out a lot more. You can get to the Blood Rush Bellows a lot quicker, Never especially chance. if you are playing into an aggressive matchup. You can, like, just get your Blood Rush Bellows quicker. Especially when you're at 20 uh, health on what, turn with, um, 3? Let's go again. Give me a 4. Yep, take it. 16. Um, what to... So there's probably, a pulping in hand, so he has to this keep is, this his hand. Like which is the big thing about like playing you, as if you're here, I think playing you aggressive. Pull them pretty aggressively. Um, I think it's pretty important to do so. You can't so block you with them, it. You can lose your propensity to your ability. So you like to force to play in hand, um, which is pretty important. So as much as I'm tempted to creep and get out this tone, and if you're club right now, you could go swing five. six, swing five. Block with one card, I mean, you six, because five, like so. chain right. isn't yeah. going to block. Uh, like chain isn't going to block with two cards to stop the go again. He's just not going to. Actually, what we want to do. But instead, you yeah, like we'll you go like three. swing six and then uh, and swing three. three. So you can buy a card. <laughs> no, you can't take three. Okay. My like it's just consistent three. that my hand does literally nothing if I block with another card. Unfortunately. Yeah, yes. and that's your build. Okay, keep on top. Uh, and then we'll just come in with the Rosetta Thorn. The two and two. Yep. Take four. Yep. Nine. Right, <laughs> take one. Twenty-two. Pretty incredible. Okay, um, Rajan be down. Sure. Wait, why wouldn't you pitch the barrage and beat down and just uh, swing? Pulping. Oh, no, no, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> oh, I drew a whiff. Even odd. Okay. It's even. Okay, didn't hit the whiff. Beast He's going to kill himself now, now too. <laughs> I'm oh, my. <laughs> I'm good, man. Right. Okay, so, so was, what was before the Bloodhouse Bell? Or was it just the Bloodhouse Bell? It was a okay. Raja beatdown. Take three, two, six. six, yeah. And then intimidate. Push yep. Time we win. Off the top. All good. Come in for... Uh, um, that's going to be for nine. That's a yellow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll this one. Okay, so if we take nine, we'd be within carrying house range, so... Definitely want to be looking at... So, I think you <laughs> I should, like... I forgot this incredible armor on this other. the Wrecker Romp and just <laughs> use oh, the... Oh, wait, no, there's three there. cards You do there. get to come with claws twice after this. Um, because we're able to hold onto a hand, we go to the pitch, creepers. Use the, we... the, the tunic counter to swing another card action, in though. the arsenal. It's only two cards in here. Really interesting. How do we... So just trying to work out if I can keep carrying, if I want to try and keep carrying house by blocking with equipment, or we just commit the carrying house now, and then block it on the claws, we go down to about 13, 14, 15. Mm. So, you know, like, showing on table. So these like, present, like, you know, like minimum, Hayden's literally damage, two turns off winning. Yeah. If I grab this, literally two feast. turns. No matter what, no matter what yeah, happens, he's, he's, got he's, 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 he's got his Rosetta. He's got his arcane damage, three, which he just has to take. Just has to take. Um, so I'm just gonna come in for three. Okay. Um, so we know you have. <laughs> okay, so we take that one to sixteen. Yep. Then we tunic and we come with another. Yeah, this yeah, one will pop yeah. with the uh, unhallowed runs. Sure. So, same. Stop. Love you, but. So we're actually having targets for our unhallowed runs. <laughs> so block with the overhallowed one. Okay. Sure. I'll oh, good. Oh. I will yeah, yeah, I'll good, I'll take good. my cards back, end of turn on the Intimidate, or banish three, red plunder run, red rift bind, and blue modern skies. So one hit to miss. Hmm. Um, Alright, what can we do? What can we do? Alright, so banish rift bind. Uh, we're going to just try and present what damage we can to bring in here. Hand's not great, we don't have the non-attack action, but we can, we can play out this time of torment. Just take cards, try and reduce this blood dead zone a little bit, present damage, that's going to be our plan here. Um, not much else we can sort of go for. As you see, can see, see how Gambler's Gloves um, literally hasn't made a difference reasonable. this game, too. If, if Bren takes the arcane, okay. so we'll, we'll start the Like, he's done nothing count. at all. And he's on nine, uh, six health. We'll six health. Four, like, four, just four, don't four, run four, it. Four, you don't four, need it. Four, Why do you want to re-roll? You don't need it. Just play cards that have go again and just do things. Like, just play Zealous Belting if you want a card. Okay, blocking it out. That is go again. Run that. Run club. Pop 
the what the roof, uh, pop the um, time switching refine here or resident mm. depending on what we draw. So Any we, predictions off the the tome here? What are you looking for? Uh, looking for ideally like a, a good a good awesome card would be the idea. Yeah. You know, rip plunderer sure. out of war. Well, that would be on theme, right? The plunderer. So we will turn to torment draw. <clears throat> There's not neither of those. No. Oh. Okay, we've played our played our. Uh, we're just gonna come with the refine for four here. Refine for four. Could come with the Rosita, uh, but then we'll be taking extra damage, and I'm not that excited about having this refine in my in my banish, to be honest. <clears throat> and we get an awesome card, which is it's an average card, but it's a card. That's probably one card. One board. I wonder on tunic. I really don't think I'm gonna see another tunic counter. Oh man. But if I block with it now, I definitely won't. <laughs> you see definitely it. won't. <laughs> uh, I guess the it's just weird because we are actually getting look. To the I don't know. I, I think it's a magic play thing, loading. but can you fucking um, put just, your equipment in the right spots? And you guys are now teaching you people. Four. Don't what teach like people the wrong way. Put your head in your head. Mouse, Put your arms in your arms and your legs in your legs. Rosetta, we have a blue in this deck, which is. I think the other consideration of keeping the tunic is like on head effects. Like if I do play a Thunder Run from Hand next turn or I have a Shadow Puppetry or something. Sure, I am just worried about. Yeah, you know, like Vex and Malice plus the uh, the blade if we don't draw the blue, but I'll, yeah, I'll take the one. Yeah, I think you can't be playing around like specific sequences at this point, though. Uh, we'll yeah. pass. We'll take one for 15 off the dip. Yeah. So I got, a, I got a real exciting one for you. Can't wait. Yeah, Raging beat down and a claw. Oh, okay, so he had another damage. Yeah, that's fine. He just takes the damage and just wins off momentum, just tool, right? Tool. Just the one, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just one. <laughs> that would be nice, but... Uh, uh okay. Plan. I would like to preserve some life here. I don't think I can guarantee present lethal and keep the creepers. Um, so I just could give Brendan a window to get back in. But if we do block two, what can we do? Not actually. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Interesting. I would be surprised if you took this. Or if you didn't take this. Yeah. I don't know how I feel I about Sigil yeah, Suffering and Chain right now, actually. We'll block the grasp. And we'll take, take five. That's ten. Okay. So we'll just get a value point off of the grasp here. Uh, uh, is that an eight, or is that just... Just... Seven or six, and then you have a way to just one attack us. We won't get the value of this grass. We could just just die. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll banish four. We'll go see visit. Redimensional gateway. Meter mass and blue piece of device. Mm. Yeah, could get banished just like this. This is one of the things with like seeds going now. Obviously more attack actions, and that can really clog up the, the banish zone. That's another reason we'll see that refined out last turn. On that note, I think we will be. It's okay. They just have another plunder run. Oh, you do. No, no, no. Nice. I pitched the plunder run red, but we'll just play this out of war. Yeah, no, he's dead. Uh, we'll go ahead and choose. He's literally dead this Shall turn. Go again. This, Surely, this go again with that banish, yeah. Yeah, we'll choose go again and we'll banish this for its reality. Or two. No resources. I'm surprised, I'm surprised that it felt close when you have Art of War. I'm surprised! I guess that you could just whiff real hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's thing, your Art of War if you go on this no, kind of right, yeah. aggressive deck? We do have Creepers, though. Yeah, the Creepers is pretty, pretty good. Well, sir, if only you could see my so, amazing so. hand. Uh, I think it's sweet to go again. We're gonna you strike for five. Draw cards. <laughs> let's go again. Thanks, out of war. You strike for five. Five. Hey. Alpha Rampage plus Scavskin. Yep. Nothing. All right, we found a resource card. Oh, yes. We're, we're thankful for that. Delight. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be glad to know, Brennan. It uh, was so close. Yeah. Cards. Surely, surely, surely. Yeah, we'll, surely. we'll shackle break the chain. Okay. And then we'll come in with a uh, ghostly visit. Go again. Ghostly visit with go again. Yeah. All right. I block for three. Take one. Uh, I have an attack reaction. Sure. We're going to spell on creepers to play out this red yep. thunder run from hand. Sure. Is that next attack? Or it doesn't. Yeah, sometimes it'll be full of damage. So next time an attack action, you can drop it to turn draw a card. So yeah, it's it's a and then we'll go to damage. Go to Delightful. three. Yeah. Now draw a card. Wait, does that <laughs> work like that? that? You get extra counter on those creepers. Yeah, we do have two counters. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just it'll matter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna switch up my block slightly though, and just make this the yellow. I sure. blocked the blue because I had mentally zoned out. So we have, we have an extra action point plus the go again. I don't think that works like that, Hayden. I might be wrong, Did but you, I think yeah, it's the next attack action, action card turn? you play. So you have to play the card oh, yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we can use and this then, then it's point the next one for two and two. It might be. It might be the next two and two with the extra action point that hits this turn. Yeah, no, I'm probably wrong. This one's just on a razor's edge, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Block for two and then block with the arcane and swing arcane? with I mean, uh, I mean, for two. Well, I, I, I mean, do I pitch? Because I mean, I just DLB, right? Um, I have to pitch for the arcane because you just. I guess it's maybe not a blue, right? Definitely. I can just block for one. Hmm. 
well on board. What? Yeah. Yeah. I bought the arcane. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. I bought the arcane. Take two physical. Okay. And you have one gun hand, right? Yeah, I have the one gun hand. Um. So it's scab skin leathers. No, sorry. Um. I mean, sand sketch oh, plan in his dead. arsenal. We come up with here. So either way, yeah, just want to clear probably this mutated mess, I guess. I have a ring hand. So we'll just come in with this uh, mutated mess for the two. Two. Yeah. Okay. Block. Oh, I'm fatiguing you. Just wait. <laughs> uh, we do this spell one creep. It's just pretty huge. This is kind of what I was talking about. Like this is this is like a losable game state. As much as Brennan sort of, you know, wants to. <laughs> I mean, I slightly don't believe that this is losable because I'm at one. If I was at like three, maybe there's like a sequence. Okay, bench five. Uh, Blue Mulvern goes to visit the gateway and Easter egg. We'll think to start, start right killing now. you. Always yeah. Trouble. Um, yes, fifth, fifth got banished yeah. So Blue Man creep. Yep. Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead. Can we banish this one? <laughs> Sorry. I just saw your hand. I saw your hand, and it's hilarious. Yeah, I wish it was just clean one. Um, it's clean enough. <laughs> maybe. No creepers anymore. We're going to do a bit of work. Sure. Uh, we'll out of war, and we will vanish and uh, choose go again. Yep. Been here before. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> really bad. That's not really Maybe bad. You could have just given one a uh, plus um, one attack and just swing with the arcane. Okay, so we do have. Go again on next attack. We're gonna. I think we get through without non attack action. What's this? Five. <laughs> Interesting choice on the banning of Seeds of Agony. <laughs> Definitely core of the deck, in my opinion. I think I have since then swapped off chain, but obviously the power and chains turns from kind of one through five are still there. Obviously, late game powers there was just kind of getting over that final line if someone decides to play a more defensive strategy against you. Think about think about seeds is like it was pivotal to the end game, of course, like obviously, right? But also to the mid game early because you can really validate with zero seeds. It's fucking seeds. Action. You come in like it seeds, fucking did visit, everything. Four, off of blue, super super. Could you imagine um, seeds? Just like, about, like, as well. chain end games, right? Like how do you build Urser? That's way harder because you would almost you almost exclusively use seeds agony to build Ursers. So a lot of it takes away a lot of the tools. It's funny that like if seeds gets banned, they also have unhallowed rights on the watch list. I would have thought that you know, I guess I just don't like the recursive the recursiveness of it. Oh, we have knee strike. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna draw a card. So go again, draw a card. Okay, it's for five. Yeah, for five. Okay. Wait, oh, no, that, I know mean, that's the auto wall. Hmm. Sure. Okay. We will make a run shot. And then he's dead. Uh, leaves us with two resources. He's literally dead. One resource, gonna, uh, yeah, I was like, you're I was gonna swing with an turn. attack, and then, and then you're gonna you, you're gonna fucking gonna hit him with the reset of the kill him. That, that's all you need to do. Okay. Pitch for the arcane. I block. Yep. And I'm dead. Yeah. Just coming fifth. Three. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy on me. <laughs> just a few things to think through on that on that turn. Just to make sure that we definitely had it. Uh, Exclusive pop this answer through. Which the mind, so why you tell me? Yeah. Well, sub sub to good old ass pass, but Jesus. For someone, for someone that like makes content, that was fucking garbage. Like that, that's a fucking garbage deck. Like <laughs> against chain, run romping club. Put defense reactions in. You you wait until there's a turn, like the turn three, the turn four, the turn five. You put down a uh, you barishing beatdowns and you swing with club and you block. Because, like, late game, they just lose. They just lose. They don't have anything. As you saw, like, like Hayden was getting to that point where, like, he wasn't able to do a lot. He had the Spellbound Creepers up for only two turns after he used it. If he just waited and just blocked and just swung with club, he would have easily won. But his deck was shit because he had the Pulpings in there against an aggressive deck. Not once did, uh, uh, fucking... Gambler's gloves come up at all, so that means he could have been running the Null Rune. He could be running with uh, the the Goliath Gauntlet if he wanted to, which isn't a bad idea against Chain. But like, do better. Well, it's the first episode. I will be going around to a lot of the other content creators' videos, and I'll be judging their dicks. As far as, like, Brute goes. I won't be doing anyone else because I don't know a lot. I do know a lot, but, like, I know my matchups with Brute. I know what to do. 
Uh, like, I guess this is basically Know Thy Enemy, but I will do a further analysis into it. But yeah, uh, I don't think this is a video you should like and subscribe. Uh, this is just a, you know, I don't know. I, I just got bored and was like, hey, let's record something. So yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. He's that good shit.